For some artists, telling their personal story is best done through song. Jeffrey Brown went to Dripping Springs, Texas recently to hear a veteran singer-songwriter lay out the chapters of her life and draw her audience in. It's part of our ongoing arts and culture series, Canvas. Isn't she a river? Patty Griffin is known for creating indelible characters in her songs, singing other people's stories. But in the new song, River, the character is much closer to home. Oh, I am writing about myself there. Yeah. I, I, I mean, I'm writing about my emotion, yeah. my, uh, the emotion of this thing that is led I'm in called life. We met Griffin, who just turned 55, on a glorious day in the Texas Hill Country at a ranch called Camp Lucy, home to a small festival, an offshoot of the much larger South by Southwest in nearby Austin. For Griffin, it was a first chance to perform music from her self-titled new album, songs written in a more introspective mode in the wake of her recent bout with breast cancer. It's definitely a reality check for me. Um, there's lots of them <laughs> as you get older, but this one was the very specific, you will not be getting out if you're alive, by the way. Um, you better start living the life you want to live and uh, that kind of thing. So that sharpened, I think, my writing a little bit more into um, you know, sort, of, you know, sort of sitting down and figuring out where you are now and writing truthfully from that point. To the sky. Griffin grew up in a small town in Maine. Her grandparents and father immigrated from Ireland, and several of the new songs speak to that heritage. She was one of seven children in challenging circumstances. When she got sick, she looked back. I was having a conversation with my mom, who's still alive, and I was saying, you know how we, when I was, we were growing up and there was, you know, we just didn't really have any money. She said, you mean we were poor? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like that. You remember that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I decided to sort of bring that into the record. Mama's worried all the time. She tells everyone she's that came out in the lovely song she wrote and performs with guitarist David Polkingham, Mama's Worried. Texas has been Griffin's home for many years, a musical home, the venerable PBS show, Austin City Limits. The new record is her 10th studio album as she's built a faithful following in folk and Americana circles. She's won a Grammy and had her songs covered by many leading artists. And she's now reached several generations of fans. I've been told that I've been played at, my music's been played at funerals, deaths, births, uh, weddings. Mm -hmm. Weddings I find very surprising. But <laughs> really? <Yeah. laughs> I only have one love song, but they've used it at weddings. But, well, it only um, takes one. <laughs> it only takes one. So that's doing something. It's got, you know, that those are big moments. So hopefully uh, it's stirring some things up inside. Like Billie Holiday's voice for me, I get it now. Yeah. Um, she goes deep so you can go with her there. And you're kind of, you're, she's kind of holding you there with her. Yeah. And, it's, and it's, it's a huge gift. And mine's not exactly like that, but, uh, but I, I, I aspire to that sort of thing. In fact, Griffin lost her voice for a period during her sickness and feared it might not return. Diagnosed with breast cancer in 2016, she's now cancer-free following surgery and radiation. One of the things I, that I've learned in the last few years is to stop being so damn critical of my, of my own work. You know, listening, without a voice, listening back to the work that I'd done, I just went, wow, that was pretty good. I don't know why I didn't like that. And what did you hear in your younger self, going back to listen? Something kind of magical. I feel like it came, I, I've got this something in my blood. You know, I feel like I come from some 
really magical people. Yeah, I mean, I, I can play guitar and I can stand down a street and sing, you know, and uh, I know how to do that. And that's what I'm hoping is that people will come and listen to shows. And, you know, I don't, I don't really want much more out of it than that, just to keep going a little bit and have a little bit more time doing it. Patty Griffin is on tour across the country and abroad through this summer. For the PBS NewsHour, I'm Jeffrey Brown at Camp Lucy in the Texas Hill Country. Such a lovely look and 